Mm. No, come on, come on. Play, play, play. <laughs> no, nah, do it. Do it, do it, do it. No, as in, do it as in uh, forfeit. Um, anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, we're going to be getting into this next game here. So already, NZK, are we, do we have any information about this guy beyond the fact that he managed to take out... Uh, John the, Numbers. Yeah, John Numbers. And also Brand Flake. That's, yeah, he's Brand a Flake awesome well. solid player from uh, CT, if that is the same Brand Flake I'm thinking. Uh, but we're going ZS. I haven't seen ZS. ZS has in a long time. Yeah. Almost for and this matchup, definitely weird. Definitely don't know it. Uh, this matchup is so historically. This matchup has always been kind of Diddy favored, just okay. because of how tiny he is. That's what I was figuring, and he has banana yeah. to his advantage and all everything like that. Banana disadvantage, and also banana makes it much harder for ZSS to space around on his shield. Uh, oh. I'll, that being said, ZSS has one of the best disadvantage states in the game, and normally a lot of what Diddy Kong, you know, his strength lies in the fact that he can keep opponents trapped in the corner, trying, you know, get a ledge guard with you drop banana, that sort of thing. Not really gonna have the chance to do it because of things like kick. Flip. And that kick flip is gonna be a, a really big factor in this play to work uh, with ZSS. You can pretty much just go around a lot of your mechanics, and also. It's like a recovery option for using kickflip as well. So if, if NZK is also able to use Slingshot to, banana to uh, their advantage, that'd be really great. But that up smash will be taking it. We've seen that set up so many times with Slingshot, banana into up smash. It's so instrumental. Yeah, and one thing I really want to think, just mention that's cool from the NZK, he's using uh, ZSS's speed to catch the banana as soon as Slingshot pulls it. Like, not letting you even grab it once. Which is exactly what we want to do, or at least try to do if your character allows uh, that to happen. You definitely want to get the banana first before Diddy can, because Diddy should just, like we see earlier, trip you and you're, you're stuck first. So long that Z drop banana was really smart move, like on the ledge, but here we go. We have NZK trying to take out this first like, as fast as he can, keeping a little bit more of a distance against us uh, and uh, Slingshot. Likely going to use that blaster to kind of uh, stun him for a little bit, maybe, is what I'm kind of looking for. Oh, Whoa, that was on that brilliant! Top leg, on the top platform. Oh man, not only that, got him on the slip and then immediately went underneath and charged the up smash for exactly as long as he needed to. That was the, like, I, like the, probably the pixels of the blast zone that NZK got stuck into. But now there's a three stock to one lead. Even right here, which should be the there stock. Is. This is still looking very grim for, for uh, NZK. He's gonna need to get another crazy stock. Maybe something like neutral air to kick flip. Something like that, because it feels like right now, Slingshot's just too consistent for him to just whittle him down. Yeah, agree. You know, Slingshot is a very consistent player. He does what he does, he knows his combos, and he can trap you a lot of the times. And so NZK has a lot of, a lot of um, adapting in this situation against someone like Slingshot's uh, Diddy Kong in order to get out, get this game out for uh, himself. But yeah. yeah. Oh, I was just going to mention how I like the adaptation from Slingshot. He's pulling the banana, and now instead of trying to go for grab for it, he actually fades back just a little bit and is punishing NZK's attempts to grab it instead. Paid attention to how his opponent was trying to deal with banana and immediately and effectively countering it. That's why this match is as one-sided as it is right now. Yeah, it was, it was, he was able to actually pick that up so quickly. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a devastating thing for NZK because he was using that to his advantage as much as he can get that banana before Diddy. But once Slingshot realized, hey, you want to get my banana? Bet, I'm going to punish you for it. He's he's pretty much golden. NZK at, at basically at good percentage with an up smash, which ski, I mean, ski, uh, Slingshot is so good at catching. Uh, tr tried it right there. And right now, yeah, Slingshot looking to end this, but doing a good job by not overextending. That's oh, one of the things about Diddy block. Kong. If your opponent messes up once banana. at those higher percents, Banana will make sure that your moves will connect and kill. That Banana trip is, is such a is such a like essential thing for Diddy mains, especially someone like Slingshot, who uses it to its full, who who at least uses it to its fullest extent. Oh, there we see a little little thingy, a little I don't know what it's called, but they go back and forth really fast. The hit lag. No, he like new, new. Oh no, you're talking about when they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the um, the d dash. The, 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 the big dash. The, the, the teeny, speed. teeny dash. The big speed dash. Dash dance lit. Dash dance. That's cute, the dash dance. Okay, yeah, that's. Mm, yeah, that was a really important stock, but like, notice that it, it came from disadvantage. 
I feel like ZSS is one of those characters that has really good kill power, but it's very inconsistent. Where if your opponent makes a tiny mistake in neutral, unless you're kind of setting yourself up for it, that doesn't necessarily mean that they just explode and die. So as we move into game two, uh, I believe they're playing the same characters. Yep, and we're... I see. Yeah, we're going to be on Town and City. I feel like the fact that we see Town and City, maybe we'll see NTK try to find more back airs, that sort of thing, to kill off the side. That might be the play because one of the disadvantages to this stage is the fact that for quite a while it has an FD variant and Diddy Kong, a character that notoriously does well on FD. That's the thing about Diddy Kong. You have to be so careful with these. Well, not even with Diddy Kong. I'm sorry, I mean with TNC as a stage. You have to be aware of your advantage stay of this uh, of this stage. Being this stage is likely would be really good for the CSS. But now we are in Diddy's territory. Something that you have to be really aware of. And now you have to change up your gameplay style in order to kind of. Uh, oh, that was really <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah, that's actually. The fact that the down tilt uh, her box shifted to dodge that banana. I th it's almost you could think of it as like a defensive as well as an offensive option as long as you're in that one exact space against Banana. Oh. Yeah, in the case, as long as I learn some more um, things to do against it, that detail was super, super clean. And I hope I hope he's able able to find more options or abilities to use that. But no, these platform extensions are going to be what is NCK's downfall because Slingshot can use these two's advantage so easily by trapping you on that platform, getting Banana, and getting forward smashed right yeah. into the blast zone. This game is looking even more decisive than the last one. 52% is all that Slingshot has taken. And he seems to be... His spacing has been so good, which is really difficult. Diddy Kong is a character that has really kind of garbage air drift. I believe he has zero air deceleration. Um, so the fact that he's able to so reliably space just outside of these ZSS hitboxes, which are still generous hitboxes, is really impressive. All right, now we have a tri triplat situation with the out platform. It's a little bit more extended towards the blast zone. And this, this is theoretically where NZK should be able to shine as ZSS using these that military, that no platform especially uh, to his advantage. He's just not able to find these openings that they're really wanting to look for as ZSS. D is just simply able to kind of convert it to his own advantage. And this is because Slingshot is at two, a two-stock lead. He really doesn't oh. have to approach as often. That didn't kill. Wow. Yeah, Talon City actually kind of yeah. coming back to bite NZK right there. Had I been PS2, I would have absolutely taken that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and this is another thing that, like, Slingshot, he's pushing, positioning himself such that even if he does get hit, because Banana is there, he's not going to be taking huge punishes regardless. He gets one hit, and that's it. Like, NZK really struggling to get powerful, meaningful combos that we normally know from the character. Agreed. Uh, with, the, with the placement of the banana, it basically constricts the space that you really have. Like, basically, if that banana's in the middle of the stage, you really have half a stage to work with before you get hit by the banana yourself. So, here we go. Into four smash. That Three would definitely stock. take that and stock it. Yeah. Three stock. Hey! Three stock bowling alley uh, animation. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Three uh, stock. There's got Devin, just shell out however many hundreds of dollars we need in order to get those two. Those bowling alley transitions, bowling please. Alley transitions. Zeno, Zeno uh, donation pool where we get bowling alley transitions. Yeah, no, sub to, sub to house right now. Sub and to house right if now. If we get a thousand oh my God. Th subs, we, we, can I make that promise, Devin? I'm hearing silence, so I that's a that's yes. All his numbers? <laughs> I knew it, because I, I saw numbers come in. Oh, that, that's not Where Devin. That? That's okay. Nummies. Well, then 